Da 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 da. Hello, 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 hello. I think uh, we're live. Let's see. Is there people here? Uh, yeah, there's 10 people. This is awesome. I haven't done a, a live stream in a very long time. Uh, but it's nice. <clears throat> I had been waiting for, for a computer that I could use for my live streams. My older computer was just... I don't know, it would just freeze. Whenever I would open my design file, it would just like freeze and it would be a disaster. So instead of uh, uh, embarrassing myself with <laughs> streams in which like everybody, everything goes to, uh, goes to the worst, <laughs> uh, I decided to wait for a new computer. So I just got a new computer and I'm ready. This is the first test of doing a live stream. Super excited because uh, I usually like sharing my process. And whenever I'm like doing something, I always get the, I don't know how to call it, the, the little bug inside me that says like, oh, I, 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 I want to share this, you know? I, I, I want to be sharing this, but it's always like, oh, but if I share it, then the computer is going to get slow and I'm just going to embarrass myself and people are not going to enjoy it. And uh, why even do that? So uh, this is the first test of going back to sharing art with Pablo Stanley. And today uh, I'm excited about something that we're uh, working on that is called the microverse. Uh, <laughs> in the microverse, uh, well, I'm going to explain to you what, ooh, what the hell? What is that, right? Uh, so for today, uh, let's Let's, we're going to be talking about the microverse, just a, a brief explanation of what it is, but I think I'm going to explain it visually, uh, just like with some sketches, uh, and also just doing a demo of like <laughs> the, the state of the microverse builder of where it is. Uh, and you're going to see that it, it's still a very, very much a work in progress. Uh, and then we're going to be creating some art uh, for, for the, the microverso. Uh, and uh, I see that you are here on the chat. So if you uh, if you are here on the chat, it will be great. If you uh, share that this is live, go share it on your twi Twitters. Go share it on your Facebooks, on your Meta. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hold on. A building. Uh, I'm going to actually share it on my Twitter. I'm the worst at this. Building the Microverse Live now uh, 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 and tweet and there you go marketing 101 always share when it's late <laughs> i'm the worst at this uh but anyway so uh today uh if you are on the chat just say be boop say hi it would be good if you whatever you're i don't know if you if you, english is not your first language uh say hi hola uh, gm good morning or good night in your language, that would be nice. Uh, I would love to to see that. Feels good to have the stream back. Yes, Pask, thank you, thank you. It, it, it's good to, to be here. So let me go ahead and start, I'm going to start sharing my screen and uh, just to going back to like a Figma. Oh, let me close the Slack. If not, we're going to get a lot of annoying stuff. So again, our uh, agenda for today is uh, uh, talking about a little bit of the microverse looking at some sketches, doing a demo, and then creating some art, which is the cool stuff. So let me just show you some sketches about like what the microverse, like how we are imagining this to be. And we're imagining uh, just like a 2D experience in which you can use your NFTs as your avatars and just like a navigate different worlds, different maps that, cre that are created by different people or different brands or different collections. Uh, so for example, uh, I'm, we're going to be building Roboto Land. 
Roboto Land is going to be one of these uh, microverses. But inside, uh, I, I suppose it's a microverse because it's, it's, it's going to have a lot of microverses inside. And those microverses are by the collectors. Every collector, if they have a token, they will be able to create their own microverse. So as you can see here, uh, uh, like having the ability to just like a insert objects that are pre uh, define uh, and just like uh, like a, a, I don't know like for nature like a mountain and for I don't know like grass and a tree and and, and just bushes and then stuff for uh, buildings like a, for a city like a street or a corner or a, or a stoplight or stuff like that where just like to start building this uh, uh, map and. <clears throat> So that's where we are building, and, and the idea is like as an as a visitor, as a tourist, or as a as a user, you'll be able to navigate through these uh, different experiences, and these experiences can be big or small. So uh, they can be big, where it's like it's a big map, and and those maps are. Uh, potentially different parts of the map are connected. So for example here, and you can bring any of your NFTs and your NFT is your avatar, but it's all in 2D, which makes it really fun and really inclusive because like if you have, a, uh, I don't know, like a Roboto, uh, you can just use your Roboto as your avatar and just like walk around. It doesn't need to be a 3D uh, model or anything because it's already, the art is already ready for a microverse a, micro, a metaverse that is uh, built in, in, in two dimensions. Uh, so, in like other NFTs are, are accepted too. So, uh, the idea is just like a different areas, for example, like a uh, places for music, and then having your own uh, uh, your own studio, uh, having buildings where there's buildings with a lot of different like apartments or places where there are a lot of microverses. Uh, and then creating portals between them. So for example, like your interior, your space, then uh, you could have a space that looks like this and then you have the ability to edit it. Uh, and just like insert a lamp and insert an energy pack uh, uh, and just uh, different things that uh, create your own space and then you could, have, could also invite others to that space. Uh, and also having a marketplace where you could sell your own art for others or also buy uh, like premium stuff. Uh, and also just like a, a different ideas of like how the art could work where like since it's 2D, like uh, uh, at, at least on like this, every microverse owner will have the uh, freedom to use the artwork however they want. Uh, but for Robotos, like uh, at least I'm thinking of making it uh, like 2D and flat where you can see the top and the front. So you can see that uh, here, for example, you can see the top of the share in the 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 front side if it was on, like if it was rotated. And if it's uh if, if it is the front side, if it is the the front side of it, you see you see it this way, and this is the back, and this is the side. Uh, and yeah, so uh, just uh, and and look, like I, I just started like sketching these things and also just starting setting up my file uh, to be able to know how to create things in proportion to the character. Uh, by default, the, the characters, the NFTs that you bring are a tent, uh, the, their size are a tent of the viewport. So every, uh, uh, every uh, what do you call it? Every microverse, every land, every space, uh, it's, it's a default of 10 units. Um, and, these, and, and each uh, character is uh, one by one of these units. And these are by percentage because it depends on the size of your uh, viewport. So it's not pixel size. But when you're creating the art, you need pixels because like usually uh, uh, design tools like work in pixels. Uh, so like I, I was just like doing my calculations. So how can I create something that is like for me, for the artist, and every artist will have uh, their own way of doing it, uh, if it is in Photoshop or it's an Illustrator or whatever, uh, I, I need to know, like, a, to make this a high-resolution uh, export asset that looks good, uh, and but also, like, follows the, the idea of percentage, because on... on, on on, on the microverse, on, on, on how it looks, it's actually percentage based. It's not really pixel based. Um, so let me actually show you like how it looks. So for example, oops, uh, there's 21 people here. Uh, so for example, this is a, a microverse that is uh, that is blank. It had, doesn't have anything, and I can start adding stuff to it. So uh, 
again, the UI and the experience of this, it's its really a work in progress. It's just like add object and then you add an object and you just like uh, import uh, an image. Uh, like uh, like all of this stuff that I'm, that I'm talking about, like a, having a UI, oops, uh, having this kind of uh, UI and this uh, very immersive experience is still a work in progress. So right now it's, uh, it's just like this. But let me show you actually one, uh, one microverse that is actually already built. For example, this one, the Disco Inferno. Like as as the as one of the owners of this space, I have the ability to move things around. So, for example, I can move the uh, this this little uh, what do you call it the 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 the, the uh, what I call these speakers. Oh my god, <laughs> the speakers, and then I can also just like uh, move things around, you know, uh, and even just. Uh, but and also I can move my character, and I can start adding more objects if if I wanted to, uh, and uh, and also like add a hitbox. So for example, I select this and I right click and uh, adjust the hitbox, and I can adjust like where uh, where's the hitbox of this. Like if a character like hits this, like for example, let, let me actually make it a smaller so you can see the the what happens like now the character can be over it but you don't want that right so i want the hitbox to uh adjust the hitbox da, 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 da. I, I want to adjust the hitbox to be around here just so the character when i move it 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 doesn't go over it you know but it can still go behind it like it can go hey hello and be behind the object uh, the same here with the speaker. So, for example, if I right-click on it and adjust the hitbox, the hitbox is usually where it is on the floor. You know, so uh, I can uh, the character can actually go behind it, so I can go around it, but I cannot go here. It cannot. Da, 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 I'm trying to get in there, but I cannot. But here, it's okay. So it's just a, a little tool to just like a uh, uh, like start like working around with the. Uh, like placing objects and how those objects interact with your character. Uh, and it's really basic right now, but it's, uh, we're <laughs> uh, like, uh, like or, or on our team on Bueno, uh, by the way, if you want to know more about like uh, the tools that we're building, uh, Bueno that are, we're building uh, like different uh, tools for NFT creators. Uh, and this is one of the tools that we're creating. Uh, and, and, and just like uh, Robotos is going to be one of the first uh, microverse builders in a way. Anyway, too much talk, Pablo. Let's uh, get to building. So today we're going to be, I think uh, I started like putting together, by the way, like uh, the different things here that we're building, just like a, uh, it's going to have a marketplace and it's going to have a coin. So if you want to buy stuff inside it and just like a doing different partnerships with different collections, for example, Robotos, uh, the, uh, uh, like Robotos, if you hold a Roboto and there's going to be an airdrop and this airdrop is going to be of a coin, uh, an amount of coin that you can use in the marketplace. And also just on the gaming, like a help, what is what is a me gaming mechanism be be behind this? And this is like uh, like how to allow creators like creating some quests, creating uh, uh, creating uh, different uh, how some objects or things have entropy or also have. Uh, age and also just like have some kind of reward so if you come back and just like consecutively to your space then a plant is alive because you have to interact with it and water it for example just a, like a, a small example and then over time if you word it uh like and, and you were good with your plan then you get a reward then maybe it's a, it's a coin that uh, you get and that you can use for buying other stuff and some some of the stuff is free but then some of the stuff is uh actually their nfts that you can put in your place uh so like a i don't know like a frame or a tv or something or a game uh, that you put in your place and then or uh, uh i don't know a record player that you can use and connect your just your spotify playlist and now your space has a, a, a music uh, those kinds of things like will be premium and then you can just like buy them in the marketplace. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a lot of the stuff that we're working on. Uh, but let me show you also, I created a, just a, a, my own uh, art one. That was on the project, on the whole uh, the tooling system of this, but also on like the art, just like like a, what are the, the pieces of art that are going to be available for people? Just like a, a table, uh, a stool, a sofa. So I started like, putting together the things that uh, I think will be interesting to have in an interior. Uh, and I'll, I'll start working on the stuff that is for the exterior. 
Uh, it's uh, so anyway. So I putting together this list, and this is the stuff that we're going to be starting to work on and just to start putting it together and just to test like how it looks when you put it. Uh, and I think uh, let's uh, let me actually just take a, <laughs> a screenshot just for me to have as a list of the things that I want to do. Uh, 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 let's go to the Figmas. Let's go over here. Uh, tee -tee 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 -tee, and just to put it here. So again, I start putting together, uh, setting up my Figma file in a way that keeps things in proportion that I know that a how I create it here, it's going to look good on the microverse. Right now, we're still working on like when you upload it, it keeps the same proportions. Right now, it it, it always just like shrinks or uh, grows. So I'll have to manually uh, edit it, but it's something that we're like uh, working on. So it's always uh, pristine. And I can, I can actually show you like how I started working on the, like I created the art for the, for the Disco Inferno. Like I started creating all the UI and all that stuff and like a selection of the character because like if you go over here, you're going to see that uh, uh, you can also select the character that you want. So you go over here and, and depending on the NFTs that you have, you can just like, for example, you want, you can also select the cool cat. And by default, if it is not one of the collections that we have transparent backgrounds, uh, we want to start like putting transparent backgrounds on, on different collections. Uh, uh, but if, if it's not, if we detect that this is an NFT for a collection that we don't have a transparent background, it just puts it as a circle. So it still looks good, you know? It's uh, it, it looks pretty 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 nice. Uh, this is this is weird because like it's usually when it's going to the left, it looks to the right, and it's when it goes to the right, it looks to the left, and that's because the cool cats are usually looking to the left. So that's actually weird. Uh, and Robotos, for example, you see how. Oh man, this is something that we need to take care of. Uh, for example, I have uh, this guy. This guy, when it moves, it looks good, you know, because it's always when it looks to the right, it looks to the right, and when it moves to the left, it looks to the left. So oh, maybe something that we need to set, like different collections have different uh, views. For example, cool cats and this. Ooh, a bug too. To uh, 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 features to build uh, gaming, how to. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Bugs. Well, I'm going to put in about bugs. Uh, and some collections, PFPs look in the opposite direction. Direction, adjust view. So uh, when the character moves, <laughs> sorry, moves, it moves with the direction. I don't know if I'm pretty sure that uh, my team is going to be very confused by this. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, coming back to, to this, like, uh, you see that I, I created the art, like a, uh, created different textures that I could reuse, uh, and also just like the different elements. And some of these elements have, uh, different variants and these variants are used to uh, create animations. So for example, this one is the, let me go back to, to the Disco Inferno so you can see it. Uh, the Disco Inferno, you see that this, the, the pyramid animates. And what the animation is, it, what is happening is actually just going through the different variants and it's just looping between them. Uh, the same here with this. I actually don't know if this animates. Oh, we haven't made it an, an animation. I have to do it. Uh, but it should animate this way too. Uh, I, I think uh, the speakers, I haven't animated them either. Uh, but the floor, you see that it's animated. And the animation, again, is also just by going through the different states of this component. Uh, so that's how, how we can create animations, uh, at least on Figma, and just like export it as a, as a sprite that you can just like, a, 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 but this could also be uh, made on Photoshop or Procreate, whatever, as long as you create it as a sprite sheet. Um, oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about a lot. Let's get to work. So, okay, so I started like working on, like what should we start working on? And I think let's just start building just uh, an interior of like a living room uh, for a space. And, and I think having a sofa will be nice. Having uh, like, a, uh, like a side table, like a small table and also like a coffee table will be nice. And uh, da, 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 what else? And I think a lamp and a rug. So let's do those things, okay? So I actually started putting together this. Uh, I don't know. I, I actually like this uh, this uh, sketch that I made. I think this looks actually much better. So I think I'm going to do something like this. I'm just going to move this little guy over here just to use it as a sketch that I can uh, reuse. 
uh, and I'm going to just start over. Like, hey, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you. You served your purpose. Uh, and I'm going to start like adding more stuff. So you can see here that again, you can see the top and the side, the front of it. So that's how I'm going to do it. So let's just start just building. Uh, I usually like building stuff on multiples of eight. Um, I don't know. Uh, it, it's a thing with designers, uh, product designers. We usually use uh, an eight pixel grid. And now I just need to design it everything that way. It's, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It's, uh, what, what will you call it? It's, uh, it's a curse. It's the curse of the UX designer. So let's center the stroke. Um, right now, I think uh, I can start using, yeah, I'm going to use the Roboto's uh, color. Uh, and I think I'm going to be using four pixels for the width of this. And this is just to see if the proportions are right. Yeah, the proportions are okay. So like four pixels looks good. Uh, and uh, nah, 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 nah. let's start building the side of it. Let's actually build first the, fr the front of it. Uh, so I'm going to do it this way. Maybe it's not too tall, so I'm going to just do it like around here and maybe have uh, its uh, its legs, which is like a, one of those like uh, middle century kind of legs that are just like wooden and da 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 <laughs> And maybe even more. Uh, yeah, uh, just uh, maybe let's make it a little bit taller. So it's pretty tall. And let's make it a, really, a little bit thinner. 16 by 24. And let's make it a little bit apart from the, uh, from the side. Maybe 8 pixels from the side. And let's do the same here. Uh, 1, 2 eight pixels let's align these little guys and just move them here there you go now this is the side of the sofa now let's uh let me actually just copy and paste this stuff and let's put it over here and this is going to be the other side uh and now we need uh the, the back of it so it looks like i'm doing uh 48 pixels so i should uh the back the backrest, it should also have a width of 48 pixels. Do, 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 do. And uh, move it over here. Da, da, and just move it all the way here. That's going to the, be the backrest. And let's put the, uh, what do you call it, the cushions here. And the cushions are going to be, maybe it is uh, one of those uh, uh, that is divided in two. Uh, so it's not too long. So let's uh, 100 and... Uh, 40 in, in between 8, how much is this? Uh, so I wanted 18 by 8. There you go. 144. And I suppose this is going to be something like this. So do, 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 do. No, let's make it a little bit longer. Yeah, like this. And then around here. And yeah, I think, yeah, this is looking good. Let's put it all the way to the top. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, what's going on? Why is it not a... Uh, oh, idiot. It's I didn't group this one. And let's put it all the way to the top. There you go. It's uh, <laughs> It doesn't look that great yet. So uh, 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 another thing that I want to do, I think, it's uh, put these uh, as cushions in the back. So there's the rest, but there's also like cushions. Cushions. Uh, and maybe the cushions are a little bit taller just like this and uh, let's oops let's duplicate this little guy and let's move it around here so there you go now there's a little bit of like the cushions are there in the back uh, 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 this is a very uh, like a mid centerish kind of uh, a sofa I'm realizing that the back has a, the backrest has a lot uh, and I don't think it, it needs to be that wide so I'm going to just like uh, just make it a little bit, uh, and these cushions, I think they could be a little bit wider, just around there. Yeah, there you go. So, just so it looks a little more comfortable, you know? It doesn't need the back to, 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 be, that, uh, to be that wide. And I'm going to do this where these three pieces are just one single piece, and I'm just going to join them. There you go. 
Now it looks a little bit better. And I think this needs to be all the way to the top. So there cre it creates a little bit of depth there. And uh, the base of it, it's, it's looking good. Now I can start like shading it a little bit just to add a, a more depth to it. For example, I'm going to just like put the colors that I've been using on everything. Uh, let's make it a, <laughs> let's make it a rose gold uh, sofa. <laughs> it's like a pink sofa. So uh, I'm going to make this a little bit darker. Maybe this is also a little bit darker, all of these. Uh, and just going to go over here. This is a, a color palette that I had created before, so I can just reuse it. Uh, and this is the color palette for Robotos. And I, I'm liking this. Now, something that I think is crucial to make this even have more depth is having uh, like shadows and, and lights. So I'm going to just create one. I'm going to add an effect that has an inner shadow. So inner shadow, uh, and I'm going to put a negative. So I'm going to say that usually the light comes from above. So like like from 90 degrees from above, or maybe 45 degrees, like like this. So that means that uh, the the shadow, and, and I'm going to make it hard shadow, so it's going to be only two, and m minus eight pixels, that looks good, and also eight pixels here. So that way it has, uh, it has this like depth to it. And I'm going to add another inner shadow. And this inner shadow is going to be actually, it's, it's called inner shadow here, but it's going to be white. So it's going to be an inner light. Uh, and I'm going to just remove the blur and I'm going to put minus eight here and put it eight pixels here. And that way now it creates this, uh, this kind of a uh, light here. So it, it, it creates a little bit of bevel you know, uh, on, on, on the top. And I'm actually going to just like save this. Uh, and I'm going to say that this is, um, ba -ba -ba -ba, what is it called? Uh, eight pixels, uh, eight pixel inner, I'm going to call it. There you go. So now I'm going to just apply this uh, style to all of these. So I'm going to say eight pixel inner, and I'm going to apply to this one too, uh, eight pixel inner, and now it creates that little depth. You know, it just, now it looks like it has some some kind of uh, of depth. Let's see how it looks if I add it to these elements. I think these will potentially need to be different. Um, I'm going to make it a little a, a little bit darker. Make them a little bit darker just to have more contrast. There you go. I think uh, that creates a little bit more contrast. And now uh, it's important to add a shadow to it. And uh, something that we're going to build is just like having uh, default shadows uh, and uh, default shadows on elements that you can just edit. But for now, we don't have that feature yet. So I'm just going to create my own shadow that is part of this element. So ba -ba -ba, I'm going to say that this is, uh, this is black, it's just a black shadow. And I'm going to say that the transparency is maybe a 20%. That creates a, a pretty good shadow. And I'm going to just like make it around here. Let's add a corner radius, just so it's uh, a little bit softer. And maybe add an effect of blur. Let's see what happens if I, I just uh, layer blur. If I just blur it just a tiny bit, maybe eight pixels, I think it creates a nice shadow. Uh, and I'm going to say that this is, uh, it's going to be 16 pixels here. 16 pixels here, and it's 24 pixels here. I think it's nice, uh, 24 pixels here. Yeah, I think that looks good. So I'm going to actually save this as a, I'm going to save, oops, sorry. I'm going to save this as a shadow effect. Shadow, uh, Zero 02, I'm going to like the mid shadow. And I'm going to also add this layer style, shadow uh, 02 too. And I'll, I'll, I'll have surface shadows too later. And ta -ta -ta. that's it, okay, cool. So I'm liking this. Let me go ahead and uh, just, uh, well, 
I suppose I can just like make it into its own, like a, like a component. I'm just going to call it uh, sofa. Is it sofa? It's a yeah sofa, I guess. Uh, it's a sofa, and I'm going to change its no no, and it and, and it to be like this because I was going to just like do this where I, I change the size of it so. It, it's not considering the shadow as part of the size of the element, but but no, I think it's it's okay to do it this way. That's how I'm going to export it anyway. Uh, once we have the the uh, shadows that we create on our microverse, it's going to be easier, so I don't have to do this kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, 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 let's export this and let's export let's import our first element. I'm excited about this, and I'm just going to export as a one x. Let's go to our microverse, and I'm going to just like a uh, call this interiors, and just like uh, call it sofa, and let's go to our little microverse here. Uh, let's <laughs> let's go over here, and uh, pa pa pa. I'm going to just add an object. La 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 la, and I'm going to go to microverse interiors, and I'm going to say. So far, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. there you go. So it's a sofa. Now it looks, it, it doesn't look at the same proportion. Let me actually select the same uh, character that I'm using over here. It doesn't look like it's the same proportion, right? Because it's, uh, it's, it almost feels like the character, wow, it's actually pretty small now that I look at it. I should have done it at proportion. Oh my God. Uh, but it's, I mean, we could just <laughs> resize this. Hold on, now now I feel like crap. I should have like done this a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah, let's do it a little bit bigger. Let's, yeah, let's see if everything is on pixel. No, it's not pixel perfect, damn it. Uh, <laughs> well, you live and you learn. So now uh, pixel just, uh, round to pixel. Let me see if it rounds to pixel. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's still, see, it doesn't work. I hate it when it doesn't work. Um, but by whatever. Anyway, okay, I'm going to explore it again. Uh, oh man, I've done everything pixel perfect and then now it's not. And that sucks. Uh, 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 um, yeah, whatever. Okay, let's export it like this. And I'm going to just export it again. Uh, and just so so it's, uh, so the size of it is, is, is better. Uh, and I mean, it's the first one. So it's good to have one and then get that one first right. Because then I'm going to start building, for example, the lamp and the, the, the rug and all that stuff is going to be kind of proportionate also to the sofa. So... Uh, it's good that I, that we get it right first. And I'm going, just going to delete this. I'm going to add another object. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to say sofa again. And now, how many units is this sofa? Right now, I need to do some calculations. Calculations. Because this is uh, 342, so that means that uh, uh, calculator. The calculator. So, uh, ba -ba -ba. 342 divided by 300 is going to say that, oh, it's 1.14, the width of it. So if I go back to this, I need to say a adjust the set exact width to be uh, 1.14. So it will be 11.4, I think. Yeah, there you go. So now if I move my character, it should be the same proportions of this. See? Oh, my God. Oh my God, that's perfect. It works. It works. Oh my God, I can delete this. There you go. I'm excited about this. Oh my God, save changes. Let's save the changes because like later. Sucks that is Figma actually rounded the size too, uh, but it doesn't do that. So it's okay. We can fix that manually. Uh, I'm going to do the fixing later uh, for now. I suppose I shouldn't worry too much about this. Where it's like, hey, the height turn it. Like I could just like rotate it 90 degrees, but if you rotate stuff, no, actually, you know what? I'm going to rotate. Yeah, I'm going and that's not exactly what I wanted. When in coordinates as this, just there, perfect. And this is going to be 
the size of the the the, uh, the cushion it's going to be around here and let's uh resize these two. Oh man not a great start with things that are not pixel perfect i hate it I hate it so much <laughs> uh let's go back over here uh there you go this is starting to look good uh, now this should be uh, ba -ba, this size perfect and then this should be this here and this should also have a front so it should be like this and let's put a front on this too around there now we want this to also have a little bit of depth so just just like as, as we did here where they have a little bit of uh they're a little bit taller so we want them to be a little bit taller too uh and uh ba -ba, let's align these uh the y position it's not round to pixel again um i hate that it does that i hate that uh 305 and let's make these two 305 305 and let's make the Oh, oh yeah, so I need to flatten this. I forgot about that. Flatten, and then, yeah, and then let's make this uh, uh, 54. Let's make this also 54. And let's just flatten it. Bum, bum. And now let's turn this a little bit darker, just so uh, the light of it is, is like that. Wow, weird stuff is happening here. Uh, and let's uh, align it to the top. There you go, beautiful. Now let's uh, let's make these cushions the size of it. And let me uh, put the front of the cushion around here. There you go. There you go. And let me change the color of it too so it's just like consistent and perfect so now we have that it's not perfect it's not perfect um, well actually I'm realizing that these should be actually lower yeah around here right and let me just delete these two and then uh, let me uh, flatten like what well, flatten is command e command e so let me uh, just this command e command e command e command e just so i'm not rotating stuff um, I, I it's just like that's something once you rotate then elements like behave really weirdly uh, and i don't want them to behave that weirdly so this is a, a width of 202 so let's make all of these the same width of uh, 202 and let's align to the left there you go now they're perfect now oops now let's uh, remove these elements mm, da, da, da. let's uh, this should be eight pixels everything is perfect let's what's going on here uh, eight pixels there you go now everything is perfect Woo. That's nice. It's nice when it's uh, when it's great when it when it works. Okay, cool. So we have that, and now let's put some legs here. Let's put a little legs here, and uh, now let's put a a bottom to it, and uh, ba -ba. let's paste it here. But the bottom should be uh, the same, the same maybe just like this, and it's just the the bottom of uh, that is holding everything and I think this could be even darker uh, we could go to this where it's just uh, and this shouldn't have this it's more of a, a part of the bottom where everything is, is being held together so there you go now we have a sofa the front of a sofa so let me see is this is a height of 190 and this is a width of 202. It's actually a little bit wider, but it's so weird because once you look at it this way, it looks, it doesn't look like this. 
<laughs> it's so it's so bizarre that it looks so different. Uh, so this is 219. The height of this should be 200. Wow, it's it's just an optical illusion where like I want this to be more like this. Uh, it I, I don't know. I, I'm learning about the the differences of like how we see objects. Maybe. It's just a proportion of this, so maybe this should be a little bit. Uh, let me uh, let me see what happens if I do this. Yeah, that looks nicer. Okay, cool. Okay, so we have this. We have the front of our sofa. I think it would be nice to just change the uh, this add an effect. Let's see if this works. The egg pixel inner that looks like poop. So let's not do that. <laughs> let's actually unlock it and let's see what can we do. I think the inner light is not working. So I'm going to just remove the inner light. And uh, I'm just going to actually uh, add it as one of the 8 pixel uh, inner shadow. And uh, there you go. Now we need... Uh, a shadow like this. So let's add a shadow to this element. And na, na, na. the shadow should be around here and just around here. And this is how it should be. So 24 over here is 24. Let's do uh, 16 pixels here. So, oops, this guy is not. Uh, let's make it 16 pixels. Let's put it to the top. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. So now let's uh, see if the height of this. Wow, this is not. Oh, no, dude. Like, what the hell? 24. 24. There you go. There you go. What? What's the size of this? This is 18 by 27. So let's do 18 by 27. And this should also be 18 by 27. Let's uh, change that. 18 by 27. There you go. Now it should be perfect. And beautiful. Okay, we have, <laughs> finally, uh, we have this. So I'm going to command X. I'm going to say that this has another variant. And this variant is just going to be uh, front. Uh, and I'm going to just delete everything inside that variant and I'm going to paste this and I'm going to say the front, let's adjust the size of it. One, I cannot because it's an object. So I need to edit the uh, adjust hitboxes uh, and I'm just going to delete it. Mm, I cannot delete it. <laughs> okay, uh, objects need to have a hitbox. I, uh, that's something that we have. But um, yeah, it's not a great experience to edit the backgrounds, uh, but it's something that we can work on and edit. Uh, now, this guy, I need to, like right now, if I move around, see that I can, I can only move here. I want to be able to move like behind it, so it looks like it's behind it. So I need to adjust the hitbox of it, uh, ba -ba, adjust the hit, uh, just hit boxes and I want to make it a little bit smaller you know just around here and also just a little bit smaller here uh, because it's, it's, it's taking the shadow as part of the hitbox but we don't need that so I'm going to save changes and now if the character moves see how it moves on top of it but it's also moving behind it la 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 because now the hitbox is, has been adjusted so now another thing that I want to do is I want this to be on top of it, so uh, I need to adjust the, uh, the the C index, and the C index is, hmm, the C index is there, so this should be on top, I don't know why, uh, yeah, so let me put it here, save changes, and now, yeah, okay, another thing that I need to figure out how to uh, edit. This, I, I want this to be on top of it, you know, like a, the, the glasses look that they're on top of it, uh, but not here. So that's weird. That's a weird problem to solve. Uh, anyway, okay, cool. So I'm going to end this stream here. 
uh, a lot of things uh, uh, to, to learn and a lot of things to create. Uh, what we learned today is like A, told you a little bit about the microverse that we're building. We're building our own tooling uh, so people can create their own things. Uh, this is at least on, uh, and the idea is that A, you'll have tools like this where you can just like drag and drop elements and just move them around and have uh, different functionalities to uh, change just the style, uh, rotate, transform, uh, adjust the hitbox or delete it. And also uh, just have the ability to also create exteriors. And this is going to be, uh, uh, in theory, you could also build an exterior here. But once you're in an interior, uh, or maybe the collection gives you specific assets that you can use, uh, and that that are like part of the template, and the idea is that a you can just like walk around with your NFTs around. Uh, Robotus is going to be one of them, and just like a the idea is that just bring your NFT, you can just like chat and stuff. So if if you see here, uh, other people can be here, and actually like if you go to the microverse.art slash microverse slash studio, you'll you'll actually be able to be here, <laughs> and you can add a message that says like uh, GM, or says beep boop, uh, beep boop. And, and yeah, so anyway, thank you everyone for being here. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a pleasure to just like a, be sharing uh, the space and being in, in a live stream again. It's so nice. It's so nice to, my computer didn't freeze. It would have frozen like with my old computer, like minute five would have been like that. And can you hear that? There's no fans. The fans are not there. The other one would have been like, I, I needed to put ice on it. Like seriously, like literally ice. I was putting ice bags below the computer so it will stay cool. And now I have the M1 and it's working perfectly. So I'm really happy about that. And I'm going to just continue doing these live streams. Thank you so much. I know that it was a little bit uh, nerdy, everything that we did. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, Pablo, we got to get you new internet. Need some fiber optic. Seems like the new Mac is working great, though. Uh, oh, so was it like stuttering or something? Oh, man, that sucks. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, thank you so much. See you around. Looks great. Make sure to take your time to, with this. has great potential. Thank you, Giovanni. That's nice. Uh, thankfully, no NDA-related material here. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I keep sharing stuff that is like, oh my God, I signed an NDA. I shouldn't be talking about this. This stuff is ours, so we can talk as much as we want. It's up to us. Um, thank you so much. See you around. And adiosito.